So this is what Fox gives me every weekend for an overall win. This is a main event win, and these are overall wins. We're gonna add another one this weekend, that's for sure. Right here, that is a perfect, perfect spot. 2016 Lucas Oil Pro Moto Cross Champion. Ken Roxy. I think it's really cool to see Ken, like some of the posts he did last week. That, that's what it's about. These guys are human. They deserve that victory beer and that slice of pizza. In my opinion, and maybe I'll get castrated for this, but I, I think there needs to be more of that in this sport. And I always say, he's not German, he's Ken Roxon. He has appeal all across. I, I'm just, I'm me. You know, whatever I feel like posting, I'm definitely gonna post. And it's not necessarily anything bad. I'm just, I really show who I am and, and that I'm a fun character. And I feel like a lot of the fans get a good laugh out of it, and that's ultimately what it's all about. Huge congratulations, the 2016 450 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Champion. He works his ass off, but he also he want to enjoy it, you know. He loves riding his dirt bike, you know, and have some fun. Just having a blast, you know, winning a championship and doing what he loves. Where are we at? We're in Crawfordsville, Indiana. We are about to head out for first practice. Uh, the weather is looking pretty sweet. We've had a lot of rain. It's going to be pretty deep. That old guy was just telling me, you want to have as good week as last week. I'm like, oh, yeah, we will. And he's like, yeah, but the party won't be as good. I'm like, what do you know, man? Last week was a pre-run. There, there's no question. Ken's coming to race today. He's here to win. I, I'm sure he's ticking away those victories. And he doesn't want anybody to think he's coming in soft. And I would be shocked to not see him on top of the box. Uh, Marsha, 32.8, Nicoletti, 33.7, Candy, 35.1. I always want to dominate, that's for sure. But uh, there's no but, honestly. We're just going to go out, like I said, have fun. I feel like that's when the best results come in anyways. You try so hard on some spots, it's crazy. Some of the takeoff, you're just... Yeah. Track's pretty shitty right now. I don't know how it's going to be, honestly. It seems like it rains anymore. Yeah. That's what's really cool about Ken, you know, he has that old school personality. I don't think I have to answer that, do I? <laughs> pretty, pretty freaking muddy. You know, and maybe I'm just the old guy talking, but, you know, when you saw the McGraths and the Emigs and the Carmichaels, there's so much flair. It's not like it's not serious, you know, he's home doing all his work and everything. You know, he works his ass off, because otherwise he wouldn't be winning. I liked it better when it was choppered a little bit. Okay. I think it's really great for the sport, it's really healthy, and it's just cool to see Ken kind of bring that old school flair but just have the, the new school riding style and the dominance. To win, you have to be super serious what you do, but when you're not working out, when you're not training, I think you can enjoy life too. Yes, yeah, to Tomek is no, point one ahead of you, so you're good. After we went lower or whatever, dude, I was just going like this everywhere and like standing up. It's way better that way. I mean, besides feeling like a novice out there, pretty good. <laughs> no, I ended up third. Which is fine. Hey, we did a change once, yeah. and that I thought it was going to be better, but it wasn't. It just was going like this everywhere. Yeah. Crazy, because at first it was no rain, and then they said it was going to rain all day, and it rained a little bit, and I guess now no rain. Boy, that's crazy. It's absolutely mind-blowing to see how dominant he was this year. You know, you don't really see that happen too much anymore. I mean, the field's so deep, and these guys are riding so well. Uh, Eli kept them honest, but I mean, just to watch what Ken did this year was just mind blowing. He gets going, he makes very Statement, good one of the first one here. One of the other to hear you. Yeah, I know. You want an umbrella out there? Will Ken Roxon have his way once again? What about number one qualifier Justin Barsha? He's been getting quicker and quicker as the year's gone on. So many stories in this one. Rocks it off to a good start. Looks like he's going to lead them over the whole shot strike. He's got Barsha, who was your fastest qualifier of the 51 Yamaha right there with him. But well, here's something we haven't seen too much of, and that is the number 51 is Justin Barsha, and he's not letting Ken Roxon get away. Come on, come on, nice three. Usually Roxon opens up giant gaps early, so just the fact that Barsha's right behind him right now is a big step for the Yamaha man in second. Roxon able to probably about double that gap right there just by nailing one section right. Ken Roxon takes the checkered flag underneath the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross finish strike. Comes number 94. Good job, man. Whole shot to checkers, man. That's the way you like to see it happen. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it tracks super gnarly out here, so it's good to get a good start and just ride your own lines. You got to be really smart out here. The ruts are super deep. <laughs> Did you see that? 
Thomas Aiden. I locked the front wheel on him. You see that? Road race skills, bro. We await for the final moto of 2016. Come on, buddy, let's have some fun. Enjoy this one. Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship. Here we go. The glory of everything was going through my head, and you know, you see all these fans cheering for us, and I just thought about, you know, I mean, we, we went, what, 20 moto wins out of 24, which is pretty amazing. I think it always kind of needs to take, it takes a little bit of time to actually really settle. That's right, Iron Man, cheer for Ken Roxon. His lead is so big, this is like two victory laps in one, and you're gonna take the checkered flag. Once again, Ken Roxon wins moto number two here at Iron Man. Yeah, this is definitely pretty sweet, man. Wrap the championship up last weekend, go 1-1 this week. Can't be mad at that season. What's Kenny going to do tonight? Watch some football and hang out one last time as a whole team.